For full-time deer managers, of course, uh, deer stalking is a job. And uh, as with all jobs, there are sometimes elements which are less desirable than others. Um, and today we've got one such example. Unfortunately, what's happened is we've got an enclosure here of trees, a plantation of trees, and the forester has uh, inadvertently left the gate open. And uh, so now we've got a handful of roe deer in there and a decision to be made. And the decision is quite simple. Do we allow them to stay in there and decimate thousands of pounds of trees and a lot of hard work, or do we cull them out? And uh, sadly, uh, it, the decision is very fairly simple one, because if we want to retain our stalking here, then I'm going to have to get in there and uh, do something about them. rather stupidly today, donut that I am, or ever professional, I've forgotten my bipod. Um, so we're going to do this the, the Highland way, and we're simply going to use a backpack. I'm going to stuff it full, and then I'm going to shoot off that, which uh, should serve the purpose just as well. I'm a firm believer that if you do not love animals, you should not be a deer manager. And if you love an animal, when it must be culled, you want to carry out that job as quickly and humanely with as little stress to the animal as possible. Good, all right, so we've identified where the deer are and they're down there in that far corner. There's a group of at least four. Um, now it's very flat, the topography is very flat down there. So uh, we've got a little bit of a plan of attack here. I've got a colleague to help me and he's gonna gradually manipulate or encourage the deer out of that corner and up onto this bit here, which is some fabulous rising ground. It's far too flat down there, I won't be able to get a safe shot. Um, and once the deer are up here, I'm gonna position myself 100 yards or so down here, and I should be able to get a nice shot up there into the bank. Okay, so we're in a great position here now. Um, once I've fired the first shot, the animals are going to start becoming very, very stressed. So what I want to do is complete the job just as quickly and efficiently as I possibly can. Yeah, all four are down now. I'm just gonna wait here, five or 10 minutes, just make sure that uh, nothing's getting back up again. But uh, as I say, they all should be good solid, solid shots. I started with a headshot, um, and I'll talk more about that in a minute. Now you'll notice um, that I took a headshot there. Now I want to make this absolutely clear, this is not something I would ever do in the wild. The only reason I've chosen to do that today 
is because we're in an enclosure and I know if it all goes horribly wrong, I'll be able to dispatch that animal with a second shot. It's not going to get away with a horrible injury. Um, I just don't want to be a part of shooting deer in the head when you're in the wild. The chances of getting it wrong are just too high, I'm afraid. Uh, but on this occasion, we made an exception. And partially as well, because I don't want to stress the anim an other animals out more than I need to. So by taking one quick shot to start off with, we're able to quickly get onto the second animal and take a second shot. But even then, you'll notice that I then reverted to the traditional heart and lung shot, which is what you should be doing in the wild, uh, as soon as I started getting a little bit out of my comfort zone. I'd like to reiterate, it's the heart lung shot that you should be going for in the wild. It gives you the greatest chance of dispatching your quarry humanely and minimizes the risk of injury. In my view, there is no place for head shooting in the wild, especially amongst those that do not do the job on a full-time professional basis. As for these animals, nothing will go to waste and they are off to the butcher. Next month, I look forward to returning to the more recreational side of deer stalking as I travel to the highlands of Scotland with members of the Capriolas Club to stalk for red hinds. At County Deer Stalking, all of our stalkers and trainers are approved witnesses in deer management qualifications. Why not contact us on 01403 790 244 or email info at countydeerstalking.co.uk.